the compendious book on calculation by completion and balancing Arabic Al-Kitab Al-Mukhtasar fi Sab Al-Jabiyah wa Kitab Al-Kitab Al-Muktasar fi Hisab Al-Gaba wa Al-Mukabala Latin Liber Algebraea Al-Mukabala is an Arabic treatise on mathematics written by Persian polymath Muhammad ibn Musa Al-Khwarizmi around 820 CE while he was in the Abbasid capital of Baghdad modern day Iraq Translated into Latin by Robert of Chester in 1145, it was used until the 16th century as the principal mathematical textbook of European universities. It also introduced the term, algebra, algebra, algebra to European languages. The compendious book provided an exhaustive account of solving for the positive roots of polynomial equations up to the second degree. Several authors have also published texts under this name, including Abu Hanifa al Dinawari, Abu Kamal Shuja ibn Aslam, Abu Muhammad al Adli, Abu Yusuf al Misizi, Abd al Hamid ibn Turk, Sind ibn Ali, Sal ibn Bissar, and Sarafaddin al Tuzi. Topic Legacy R. Rasht and Angela Armstrong write Al Khwarizmi's text can be seen to be distinct not only from the Babylonian tablets, but also from the Diophantus's Arithmetica. It no longer concerns a series of problems to be resolved, but an exposition which starts with primitive terms in which the combinations must give all possible prototypes for equations, which henceforward explicitly constitute the true object of study. On the other hand, the idea of an equation for its own sake appears from the beginning and, one could say, in a generic manner, insofar as it does not simply emerge in the course of solving a problem, but is specifically called on to define an infinite class of problems. J. J. O'Connor and E. F. Robertson wrote in the Machuta History of Mathematics Archive, Perhaps one of the most significant advances made by Arabic mathematics began at this time with the work of Al-Khwarizmi, namely the beginnings of algebra. It is important to understand just how significant this new idea was. It was a revolutionary move away from the Greek concept of mathematics which was essentially geometry. Algebra was a unifying theory which allowed rational numbers, irrational numbers, geometrical magnitudes, etc., to all be treated as algebraic objects. It gave mathematics a whole new development path so much broader in concept to that which had existed before, and provided a vehicle for future development of the subject. Another important aspect of the introduction of algebraic ideas was that it allowed mathematics to be applied to itself in a way which had not happened before. Topic: The book. The book was a compilation and extension of known rules for solving quadratic equations and for some other problems, and considered to be the foundation of algebra, establishing it as an independent discipline. The word algebra is derived from the name of one of the basic operations with equations described in this book, following its Latin translation by Robert of Chester. Since the book does not give any citations to previous authors, it is not clearly known what earlier works were used by Al Khwarizmi, and modern mathematical historians put forth opinions based on the textual analysis of the book and the overall body of knowledge of the contemporary Muslim world. There are indications of connections with Indian mathematics, as he had written a book entitled The Book of Bringing Together and Separating According to the Hindu Calculation Kitab al-Jam wa al-Tafriq by Hisab al-Hind, discussing the Hindu-Arabic numeral system. Quadratic <inaudible> <inaudible> equations <inaudible> <inaudible> The book classifies quadratic equations to one of the six basic types and provides algebraic and geometric methods to solve the basic ones. 
Historian Karl Boyer notes the following regarding the lack of modern abstract notations in the book. The algebra of Al-Khwarizmi is thoroughly rhetorical, with none of the syncopation see history of algebra found in the Greek Arithmetica or in Brahmagupta's work. Even the numbers were written out in words rather than symbols. Thus the equations are verbally described in terms of squares, what would today be x2 roots, what would today be x and numbers, constants, ordinary spelled out numbers, like 42. The six types, with modern notations, are squares equal roots x2 equals bx squares equal number x2 equals c roots equal number bx equals c squares and roots equal number x2 plus bx equals c squares and number equal roots x2 plus c equals bx roots and number equal squares bx plus c topic Ax two Islamic mathematicians, unlike the Hindus, did not deal with negative numbers at all, hence an equation like Bx plus C 0 does not appear in the classification, because it has no positive solutions if all the coefficients are positive. Similarly equation types 4, 5 and 6, which look equivalent to the modern I, were distinguished because the coefficients must all be positive, the algebra forcing, restoring, operation is moving a deficient quantity from one side of the equation to the other side. In an al example in modern notation, x2. Topic 40x minus 4 by 2 is transformed by algebra into 5 by 2. 40x. Repeated application of this rule eliminates negative quantities from calculations. Al mukabala balancing or corresponding mean subtraction of the same positive quantity from both sides, x2 plus 5 40x plus 4 by 2 is turned into 5 40x plus 3 by 2 quote dot. repeated application of this rule makes quantities of each type Square. Quote slash quote. Root. Quote slash quote. Number appear in the equation at most once, which helps to see that there are only six basic solvable types of the problem, when restricted to positive coefficients and solutions. Subsequent parts of the book do not rely on solving quadratic equations. Topic: Area and volume. The second chapter of the book catalogues methods of finding area and volume. These include approximations of pi, pi, given three ways, as three and a seventh, square root ten, and sixty-two thousand eight hundred and thirty-two twenty thousandths. This latter approximation, equaling 3.1416, earlier appeared in the Indian Ayavatiya 499 CE. <laughs> Other topics Al-Khwarizmi explicates the Jewish calendar and the 19-year cycle described by the convergence of lunar months and solar years. About half of the book deals with Islamic rules of inheritance, which are complex and require skill in first-order algebraic equations. <laughs> 